Let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. We start in Nevis where election time is just around the corner. Prime Minister and leader of the Nevis Reform Party, Joseph Perry, announced on Wednesday night that the people of Nevis will go to the polls on July 11th, 2011. Nomination day is July 4th. He urged that citizens to demonstrate peace and respect for each other during the election campaign. He told the nation in an address, which he broadcast live on seven radio stations and streamed live on the internet, that the vision of the NRP is a vision of progress, development, and a positive emphasis on education. During an interview on Thursday morning, Perry said that his party has ensured the realization of a vision for the young people to take their rightful place among the youthful population of the world. And in Barbados, Barbadans are being urged to take responsibility on how they treat each other and by extension visitors to the island and stop trying to affix blame on someone for bad service. Prime Minister Frudendale Stewart gave his advice on Wednesday while addressing the fifth annual general meeting of the NISE at the University of of the West Indies Cave Hill campus. And in Russo, Dominica, more than 150 students from seven primary schools in Dominica this month completed an innovative Ministry of Education sanctioned ocean science curriculum called Floating Classrooms. For this program's curriculum, each student now has the chance to participate in a custom designed education ocean excursion on vessels owned and captained by Dominican members of the Carib Whale Association of the Caribbean Whale Watch Operators. After four months in school study and learning activities and the importance of protecting Dominica's marine environment for the country's economic future, each school group gets to embark on a 2.5 hour research cruise which includes hands-on lessons and observations about ocean creatures, diving gear, and marine habitat protection. And finally, in Tampa, Florida, a federal judge sentenced Grammy award-winning reggae singer Buju Banton to 10 years in prison on Thursday, the lowest sentence legally allowed for his role in a large cocaine trafficking deal in 2008. The 38-year-old Jamaican recording artist got a break when U.S. District Judge James S. Moody threw out the gun conviction, which would have added another five years to his minimum sentence. Banton's attorney, David Mark, Marcus said that with time already served and good behavior, he could be out in six years. In a statement he wrote after sentencing, Banton, whose real name is Mark Myrie, thanked family, friends, and supporters from around the world who flooded the courtrooms with letters of support. These days that lie ahead are filled with despair, but I have the courage and the grace and am hopeful that it is sufficient to carry me through. Banton, dressed in a gray jail scrubs and shackled at the ankles, did not speak during sentencing. The thin, tall, dreadlock singer blew a kiss and waved to his subdued supporters as he was led away. This Caribbean report is brought to you by MLK Tires, keeping you rolling right. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. Tomorrow, there'll be a brilliant display of local artists and their work at the Cultural Creations in a State Princess on St. Croix. News Channel 8's Wes Small has the story. Thank you very much, Jerome. Another win-win situation on a Friday. We're at Cultural Creations with Millie, the owner here. They've got the local artists coming through tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. They are in Princess, and their hours during the week, normally five days, which is Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6. And before we get to Millie, I want to pay tribute to this beautiful young lady right here. Uh, a lot of you... Hey, me too. 82. 82 months? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, look at you. Who, who's this over here smiling here? Me, that's a military child. That's your little, that's your little baby, right? Yeah, my and her baby. son is in the background here. Let me get right to it because we don't have a lot of time. Um, Juanita Encarnacion is just going to be one of the many artists that's going to be coming through this weekend displaying their wares. And she is celebrating her 50th 5-0 anniversary in making cultural dolls like these beautiful dolls you see here and you're going to be seeing those and many other objects as we take a look at inside of Millie's store cultural creations look at these beautiful things that's what we're going to be showing this weekend okay now we're going to get to the queen right here miss Encarnacion and sweetheart you've been doing this for 50 years what got you started in making these beautiful dolls um, well, I um, first thing I see them in a store in St. Thomas because I used to live in St. Thomas. Yeah. yeah. Then I used to see them and I said, look, like I could make it too. 
<laughs> That's what you did. Yeah. But they used to make it in white alone. Then I used to make it in different colors. Yeah. And to make it in high, like, big like that, too. Yeah. I tried to make them, too. You, you love these dolls, don't you? Huh? You love these dolls. Oh, yeah, you? yeah. That's why, like, uh, you know, to keep myself busy. Yeah, to keep myself busy. You know, you know before off camera, uh, Juanita was telling me that um, this one needed company. And, you know, I've noticed that the creators of these dolls don't look at them as dolls. They look at them as people. You don't, they, you look at these as people, don't you? Huh? You look at these as, like, people, like they have feelings and personality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sweetheart, I want to say God bless you. You'll be here tomorrow, then? I'm going to try my best. To oh, be here. Right. Yeah. God bless you. You're okay. Thank Billy, you. she's great. She is wonderful. You know, Juanita lives in Marley, all the way in Fredericksburg, yeah. and she got up at seven o'clock this morning to come here. And she's I one mean, of my biggest fans. That that shows her passion. Yeah. That shows her passion, and and that's what cultural creation is all about. It's about people and their love and passion for their culture, and we try to emphasize that here in our gallery. And we hope that we can continue. We love this. And we also have another artist who's 83 years old. And right now he's getting ready to have some summer workshop with some, he have four kids. And we hope he gets some more. That's just a little tease. I got to tell you, I've got a lot of stories today. So I'd like to stay here for hours, but I just can't. All I could simply tell you is come down to Princess Cultural Creations and you will see this open house tomorrow and you'll fall in love with, with these artists and all their beautiful wares. I got to go, but sweetheart, you're precious. Thank you, mama. I love you, Juanita. Happy 50th anniversary and making these beautiful treasures for our people to see. Okay, thank you too. All right. At Cultural Creations, I want to thank you, Millie, and the entire family here. I made the Mokojumbi too. Are you going to teach people? You know? I made the Mokojumbi. And the Mokojumbis too. I made them too, yes. All right. Juanita's got a lot going on. And she says she's only 82 years young. You're better than me, Mama. Have a good weekend, folks. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. There'll be an important election at the Yucca Building in Frederickstead. Here's News Channel 8's Wes Small and Sego Peterson to tell us more. Thanks a lot, Jerome, and thank God it's Friday here with Sego. We all know him, a uh, renowned community activist. And right, we're going to get right to it. I notice you have Mr. Blyden's um, shirt on, and I, you know, I went for a quick history lesson right now. Edward Wilmot. Blyden. What's the significance of Mr. Blyden? And especially this weekend, as your um, Ethiopian um, uh, committee has their meetings and election. Well, the significance of Edward Wilmot Blyden really and truly West is um, he's one of the first repatriators out of the Caribbean back to Africa. You see, in 1850, two years after the fire burn, uh, Mr. Edward Wilmot Blyden went to America to become a Presbyterian priest. And they told him a black man couldn't be a Presbyterian priest in America. So he got fed up with America and he left and went to Africa. He landed in Liberia. When he reached in Liberia, he saw 13,000 black Americans colonializing uh, Liberia. So he, he became real rebellious and he started, you know, to liberate the people. And he wrote a book named Christianity, Islam and the Black Man. And they say in Europe that a black man couldn't write that book. You know, so they made him an ambassador and sent him to Europe. And then after his tour in Europe, Frederick Douglass sent for him in 1862. And he did a four-state tour in 1862. And after that tour, slavery was physically abolished in 1863. So, you know, we don't have no who our fathers and our mothers is and the roles they play in the development of change in this world. But I pay homage to them and this was my father's day um, tribute. And I have these shirts if anybody want them to. Right. I have Edward Wilmot Blyden, Hubert Harrison, David Hamilton Jackson, right, Casper quick, Holstein, you know? A quick, a quick yeah. lesson in black history once yeah. again. And now we're going to get into quickly this weekend's elections. Talk to me. Yeah, well, I just calling all the people again, you know, thanks for coming out for the last two weeks too, because it was real great, you know, but for anybody who missed it, I'm telling you all today, like, we're going to have our election Sunday, three o'clock down in Yucca, you know, come out partake in this nation building you know everybody should uh, be interested in uh, developing these islands from the inside out and that's what we're trying to do you know develop our people from the ground up you know so come out come out this weekend and see what we're trying to do in our community to make it a better environment and so you know and put our our responsibility our future in our own hands you know 
a man that can feed himself can claim his destiny, you know. And right now, we need to learn to feed ourselves. So please come out and, and see what the Ethiopian War Federation is doing. Sunday, 3 o'clock. Blessed right. love. Yes. Right, and that's right at the Yucca building. Make sure yes, you show up for that. And we urge you to read. Uh, because Siegel's not going to be around uh, with his T-shirts all the time. That's why it's always good to try to get your hands on some conscious reading. That's why I urge the Department of Education to get these who's who in black America and books like that into our curriculum uh, situation so our students can feel proud that's of right. who their ancestors and family members are. That's right. All right, that's, Siegel. That's it. That's it, Wes. And, um, the Ethiopian World Federation website will be up by Monday, and we will put in all these information of our great people. What we should have in the school system, we'll be putting on the website, so you'll be able to tell the difference in education, you know, of self or strangers. I yes, and I, Rastafari, yes, have a good weekend. I'm Wes Small for News yes. Channel 8. Stay with us on Channel 8. Bogo's got your weekend entertainment report. That's up next. Let's take a look at what Bogo's got cooked up for the Weekend Entertainment Report. Thank you very much, Jerome. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Entertainment Report. Definitely, we got to tell you that St. John Festival is in full swing. Definitely, you could go over there and check it out. But here on the big island of St. Croix, you're looking some place to go. Every weekend, it's at the sandbar. Friday night, it's karaoke with Bumpy and then dance to the music of a popular DJ. Then Saturday night, of course, it's Eddie Russell with some jazz music. You can go down there. And then on Sunday, it's the Sundowners Party. You can have, of course, a popular DJ. M music will be there all night long, and food and drinks will also be on sale. Definitely, you can't forget also the Sunday night line that happens every Sunday at the 2 plus 2 nightclub. But let me tell you about some other things taking place. On Friday the 2nd of July at the Hush Nightclub, St. Thomas, it's all about the sugar band. Yes, there's going to be there right there at the Hush Nightclub. You definitely want to go and check it out. And of course, if you go before 1 o'clock, you pay a special price. After that, you just pay more. And then on Sunday, July 3rd, they will be coming to St. Croix at the 2 plus 2 nightclub. Of course, it's going to be the Sugar Band. You're going to have, of course, the likes of the Mad Rastercy, DJ Carl, Selector Kof, Big Cat Sound, and MC Bogle. You definitely want to go and check that one out. And also, we got to tell you about the fundraising event that's taking place at Elizabeth at the Palms. It's all about launching the Luzzy Heart Foundation. And this is to educate the teenagers, the youngsters in the community about heart um, sicknesses that is ailing our youth today. So definitely, you got to check out this event is the launching of the foundation. It's going to take place at Elizabeth at the Palms. Music by, of course, none other than Big Cat Sound, DJ Swain, and also R&B Connection. There'll be raffles and food and drinks on sale also. So you definitely got to go and check that one out. And we got to tell you about Sun Saturday, July 9th at Gertrude's. BCJ Promotion presents you Small Axe Band out of Sugar City, St. Kitts. And this is part two. Also on the card, you'll have Daddy Jones. You going to have Big Cat Sound, you're going to have, of course, DJ Carl and the Mad Rastercy and Dog Art International. So you definitely want to go. Mark it down on your calendar. July 9th at Gertrude's, it's Small Axe Band returning to St. Croix once more. And as I'm speaking to you, you should be in St. Kitts or on your way to St. Kitts, of course, for the 15th annual St. Kitts Music Festival. Of course, you know, it's going to be three good nights of fun. That's the 23rd, 24th, and 25th with the likes of Jackie or Fantasia, um, UB40, Black Rhino, Conscience, Bonnie Whaler, and the list goes on and on and on. So please go on out and check it out. And I'm hoping you got on there. You have a lot of fun and stay safe. All right. I want to thank you for joining me on the Entertainment Report. Whatever you do, do it peacefully. If you drink, just don't drive. Back to you, Jerome.